Hello, and welcome to my spoken word channel. My name is Stephen Lackey, but like any other label, that name is simply a collection of letters that make sounds to convey meaning, a meaning which may have varying connotations for those who voice and or hear it. The spoken word is much the same, its effect ranging from dissonance to resonance, apathy to revulsion, sometimes even to the same person over time. I'll be re reading some of my own work today, offering analysis of its meter, rhyme scheme, and content. If you find it appealing, heartening, or evocative, or even not worth remembering, please consider the aforementioned variability of response. Words, much the same as attitudes, friendships, and even the air we breathe, may teach us, transform us, or pass uninspiringly in this moment. But the next is yet to be defined. Herein are my copyrighted works, all rights reserved, but please forget the name and remember the message. Also feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Today's piece is called By Torch. My existence is a crime. A default I could not escape, for my flesh be arraigned because of my choices and my agency likewise. Whereas you have tasted, then you have sinned, as such certainty requires, and I sicken of defending my heresy in the shadow of yours tacit acceptance. Give me that torch. And though you shan't burn, may you shrink before flame a thousand suns no brighter, the stench of billowed black clinging beneath vestments. And even in faltered memory, every rustled breeze will be a hiss of whispering embers calling you, kneel and bathe. Soot be skin and char cloth, choke you on every truth in recompense of hypocrisy. Taste of me your every breath, each song my laughing voice. And when sleep comes for you, darkness wears a mask of me. Or likewise defile yourself by torch, as if you could ever be so bold. This is a free verse monologue of a man convicted and sentenced to burn at the stake, addressing either the religious body that sentenced him or the accuser that incited his conviction. He agrees with the reasoning as the law is warranted, but he likewise calls out its hypocrisy, so furiously, in fact, that he would set himself ablaze, his own body made a beacon to it the scent of his fouling flesh, fashioning them a cloak of it, and every sense of his accuser and or judge, intrusively recalling in perpetuity the memory of that moment. As it is understood that they would never change the law, overturning his conviction and releasing him, their only proposed release from the narrator's curse is that those same authorities step into the fire with him in admission of their concomitant guilt. Honestly, I don't know where pieces like this come from. A uh, penchant for watching historical dramas or crime shows, uh, reading medieval fables, or perhaps all of that combined with my sense of justice and the admiration of requisite fortitude to sacrifice oneself on principle for the greater good. Mixed, of course, with a healthy middle finger to any power that self-reinforces and self-justifies to the exclusion of reason. Thank you for joining me today. I hope it has been some mix of enlightening, entertaining, and thought-provoking, and if not, well, perhaps another time. You could have spent it any number of ways, but I sincerely appreciate that you've chosen to spend this time listening to phrases I have turned. I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. Drop a comment below regarding what your own or someone else's creative writing and or spoken word has meant to you. Also, subscribe to my channel if you like. I'm not sure how often I'll be posting, but if you click the notification bell, you'll be among the first to know when I do. Please also consider this. It is quite a good thing to flex one's imagination with possibilities and even improbabilities. It is perfectly fine to express feelings directly or abstractly, in rigid poetical style or untethered prose, no matter the nature of those feelings. And the more often discussed, the greater the power derived from such self-advocacy. 
After all, every act of creation was at one point a what if, and any aspiration voiced is, in a sense, a goal already achieved. One must merely take the steps. Start today. Embody the strength. Find a voice. Be heard.